this video I would like to show the abnormal profit on a graph. So suppose we have the following curves, the demand curve over here, the marginal revenue curve, the marginal cost curve and the average cost curve. First step, how do we maximize profit? By setting the marginal revenue equals to the marginal cost. So therefore the intersection of these two curves at this white dot over here is gonna give us the quantity maximizing, sorry, let me say that again, is gonna give us the profit maximizing level of quantity, Q star. Now, we know that at this point, this is the marginal cost level of producing the very last unit. However, when we consider the profit, we want to take the difference between the average revenue and the average cost. So therefore, the profit per unit, okay, the profit per unit is going to be equal to the average revenue minus the average cost. The average cost curve is over here. So therefore at this given level that we are producing, when we go up on the blue curve, this is gonna show us the average cost per unit. So I can go on the Y axis that represents the costs and can say that this is going to be that average cost. And finally, if you recall from several videos ago, when it comes to the average revenue, it's going to be the total revenue distributed by the total quantity sold. And that is the price, meaning it's basically the demand curve. The demand curve is showing the price that customers pay. So if we go up on the demand curve, on the green line over here, highlight that dot, that's going to be the average revenue, which is the price again that the customers pay. So I can call this AR. Meaning for the quantity that's being sold on the market for this level of horizontal distance, we are going to have a difference between AR and AC. The difference between the price that customers pay and the average cost of producing those goods. That difference is the profit per unit. And when we multiply it with the total number of units being sold at the profit maximizing level of output, we will get the abnormal profit. We will get the level of abnormal profit over here because remember, this is the economic profit, okay? We are discussing about a positive economic profit since the costs in here are including also the opportunity costs. I hope this all makes sense. I appreciate you all watching. If you like the video, please make sure to subscribe and we are done.